Good morning or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I'm going on a little road trip today down to Phoenix, Arizona to go visit a good friend of mine. It's gonna be a five hour trip down there. <sighs> I'm excited to see you again and I hope you come along. Suitcase, I'm like a full-time traveler these days. I don't really go out that much, I promise. Road trip outfit, SRV, cargo pants, favorite chucks, plain shirt. Also sponsored by me. Let's go! Now that I'm starting the vlogs again, I thought I'd introduce myself against anyone new. My name is Stephen Vo. I'm 26 years old. I'm based down in Southern California. In these vlogs, you'll experience life with me. The ups, the downs, the in-betweens, the mundane. I like to call this series Heart Over Matter because this year I hope to find more heart than what my body is willing to give. I'm like an hour away from Phoenix, Arizona, just pumping in gas right now. Had a little pee break, my ass kind of hurts a bit. Wow, that's pumping. I asked some of you on Instagram for like any questions you had from me. How are you? I'm chilling, baby. I'm feeling good. Favorite place to eat? Uh, anywhere that serves uh, vegan bun meats. What special moments do you hold close to your heart? Damn! You gotta wait for it later. But thank you so much for asking me questions. Just parked, got here to the Airbnb. Cute little Airbnb. Wow, this is very pretty. Look at that. This is a cute ass kitchen. Ooh. This is a one bedroom Airbnb. Comfy sheets. Ooh, cute little bathroom. Oh, this is really, really cute. Right. I've been driving for five hours straight. I have not eaten anything yet. I'm starving as hell. They even gave me like this, this wine right here. I don't drink, but for the aesthetics. The drive wasn't that bad. I've driven to Dallas before, a whole 24 hour drive. So like I'm kind of used to a long drive. This is my first time in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm gonna be in this place for four days till like Thursday. Hopefully there's gonna be some uh, good memories while I document all this. my outfit for tonight i don't go out much but this is kind of my default tank top but when it gets a little too hot boom the boys come out and play a really nice jacket i picked up like three years ago at like hot topic for some levi's cowboy belt i'm gonna wear my chelsea boots with these uh reading some last questions and answering some questions that you guys submitted to me who's your biggest inspiration a lot of people i look up to who are content creators too are women like Michelle Choi, Fuwa Soy. Uh, I see these women like really giving it their all and working hard for uh, what they want. And it inspires me as a man to want to like, you know, step up and do better. Yeah. I really adore Anthony Bourdain too. Uh, did you eat anything today? Nope, <laughs> gonna go eat in a bit. The Nintendo Switch games you've been loving, I've been loving the Diamond and Pearl remake. It's v th that game is gorgeous. What inspires you to create content? There's something very beautiful about kind of putting things together on your own. I set up the camera on my own. I edit my own videos. Like I'm building this thing that is all me, by me. And it's it's really cool to see it like translate into the world and reach many people and, and building connections like that with you guys. What do you normally do to get out of a mental funk? Mental funks for me these days are more like burnout. So like whenever like I'm creating content and putting stuff together or or just brainstorming ideas of like what I want to accomplish in the future. Sometimes that is taxing on me because like I am in my head a lot and sometimes I think too much. Uh, I know myself a bit to the point where like the moment I feel a burnout coming, I need to take that as a sign to take a step back and relax, you know? So like I'll just I'll just get lazy for like a bit, right? Because I know that's what I need so I can bore myself out. I'll still do things that I want to do like, you know, put together like little content and all that and stuff like that, but I'll do it on a smaller scale. Doing these little things I feel like helps me relax and not be so hard on myself because for me I need to take it one step at a time you know know my limits eventually I just get back into the funk like I am now and I just start doing what I do best you know all this shit for you guys So for dinner tonight, finally getting something to eat. I got me a pretty much a vegan uh, bun me. We're at a place called Fresh Alley Pho, Fresh Alley and Boba. My friend is holding the camera. Good job, friend. I'm not paying them. Mm. 
the bread is bomb. The sweet and sour, like, you know, vegetables are like bomb. I just wish there was some sauce in there. When you take out that mayo, it's a hit or miss when it comes to bed. Just kind of like enjoy the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, baby. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.